Oh, hey there, how are you doing today? So, I wanted to share with you how you can maximize fat burning whilst doing intermittent fasting. Because there is so many people on this channel time and time again that are doing intermittent fasting for weight loss and they wanna know some ways that they can get the most rapid weight loss benefits with intermittent fasting. So if you wanna learn many different ways that you can optimize fat loss whilst intermittent fasting, make sure you watch this video from start to finish. And if you wanna receive more videos from me on specific ways to optimize weight loss and also increase muscle mass, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when those new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So now onto the topic of the video. So the first thing is the longer that you fast for, the longer your body is going to be in a fat burning state. So if you're someone that wants to get the most rapid weight loss or benefits possible, increase the amount of time that you fast for with your daily intermittent fasting. So say you're doing the standard 16-8 method where you fast around 16 hours a day and eat for an eight hour window you could start over time increasing to 17 hours 18 hours 19 hours 20 hours and you can push it as far as you feel comfortable with but don't push it too far where you're fasting for such a long period of time that you find it really hard to sustain over time because you're not feeling good and hunger is kicking in a lot your energy levels are dropping or your energy levels i said energy wrong then and you just start to not feel good overall. So listen to your body, do some experimentation, and just try and fast as long as you possibly can. And I mentioned in a video yesterday, one of the best ways to lose weight is to do a specific type of intermittent fasting diet, which is one meal a day. But not everyone is gonna be able to do that. So you normally fast around 23 hours a day and eat for around a one hour window. And if you want to learn how to eat one meal a day, in the most safe and effective way. I made a video that's half a million views, well over half a million views that I'll link up above where I talk about that in full detail. And there is even someone on the Snake Diet channel called Cole that is actually promoting people eat one meal every 48 hours. And he's finding that a lot of people get an amazing weight loss results with that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that to a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna find that too hard, but if you're drawn to that, you also could look into that and if you feel comfortable with doing it and you feel good while you're doing it, then yeah, that's gonna give you absolutely amazing weight loss benefits. The second one is, whilst you're in the fasted state, go and do some very intense exercise, such as HIT, which stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And a good example of what high intensity interval training would be, say that you was going to get on a spin bike say for around 45 seconds or so, you would go full out, then you may rest for around 20 seconds or so, and then repeat that over and over again, maybe seven, eight, nine times, it's gonna vary from person to person. And how long that you go full out for, because when you are exercising with the high intensity interval training, you're going at about 90% of your capacity, almost 100%, and then you rest and then you're repeating over and over again. So you need to make sure that you're going really intense. This is why it's called high intensity interval training because you're doing these intervals of switching from going full out and then resting. And this has been shown through many different scientific studies to make your body burn through calories very, very rapidly. And then for about 24 hours after training, your body, while it's resting and recovering and rebuilding from that intense training, you get this afterburn effect where your body is burning through more calories after 24 hours of training. And you also could do other types of training as well. You don't necessarily need to do high intensity interval training, but some sort of intense training because when you're in the fasted state and you do some very intense training combined with it your body's gonna have to find a fuel source from somewhere and if you have no calories from a food source within you then your body's gonna have to tap into its body fat and burn that as fuel and what you normally find is your body will burn through all of the calories that you've eaten from your last meal about six to eight hours after you have eaten it which most people are gonna be finishing their last meal in the evening time and when they wake up in the morning, they're way further past six to eight hours of fasting. And then when you go and train, 
Yes, you're just going to optimize the weight loss of benefits. And this is one of the absolute key things out of all the things that I'm going to mention in this video to give you the greatest weight loss benefits with intermittent fasting. Yes, intermittent fasting alone and fasting for long periods of time can give you amazing weight loss benefits, but doing some sort of high intensity interval training or some other intense training is going to give you the greatest fat burning benefits possible in the shortest period of time. Number three, whatever calories that you are eating now, the lower your calorie intake is, the more your body is going to burn fat in a shorter period of time. And so many people know about this, it's called a calorie deficit. And yes, what your body is doing, it's like, okay, we're hardly getting any calories. So what you're going to find is with intermittent fasting, when you're eating less calories, you're going to go into a fat burning state way sooner. So then you're going to be burning fat for a longer period of time throughout your fasting window. And so many people are aware of this, even if they're not into intermittent fasting. I follow a lot of high level pro bodybuilders and they talk about time and time again, a calorie deficit is what they need to do to cut weight, which is means they're shredding down body fat percentage so they can get really lean and ripped and have hardly any body fat on them whatsoever so their muscles can really pop out and they can have really good visible defined abs and other muscles. So if you're someone that's trying to lose weight, so you're eating around 2,000 calories a day, try to drop it down to 1,900 calories. Then over a period of time, you can try and drop it less and less and less. But don't drop it too much too quickly because then it can make you feel awful and then it can give you insane food cravings. You could go and binge and it's just going to have a negative effect on your energy levels and your mood throughout the day as well. And it's not necessarily going to make it easily sustainable. So don't go too extreme with calorie restriction. This is what a lot of people do with yo-yo dieting. They go from eating loads of calories to eating hardly any calories and then the cravings kick in and then they binge out, they beat themselves up and a lot of time they end up gaining more weight than they had before. And there's even scientific research to prove this as well. This happens with so many people that yo-yo diet. So that's just something to be mindful of. And one thing I want to mention alongside that is when you're eating multiple meals throughout the day, not doing intermittent fasting and calorie restricting, for most people it's going to be really, really hard to sustain. You have to be very disciplined. And yeah, it is something that most people cannot sustain over a long period of time. But the great thing is with intermittent fasting, once your body becomes fat adapted over a two week period, when you first get into intermittent fasting, what is going to happen is you're going to have hormonal changes happen within the body that actually suppress appetite. So it's actually way easier to eat less calories when you're intermittent fasting. And I'm sure a lot of people that are gonna be watching this video that have experience with intermittent fasting, that hunger pretty much almost never exists. Unlike when I've done calorie restriction diets where I'm eating multiple meals a day, my hunger just gets out of control and I'm like, screw this, I can't do this, this is just too hard. My mind's thinking about food all the time, my hunger all the time, and it's just not good at all. Number four, make sure that you do as much research as you can into hormones and how they affect your body fat percentage. So if you're someone that has an excess of estrogen within the body, which is called estrogen dominance, your body fat percentage is naturally gonna go up, you're gonna retain more water, and you're gonna lose muscle mass as well, which is a huge issue for a lot of people. And then with people that have that issue going on, they are going to have low testosterone which when testosterone level goes down, you're gonna to start to get very similar effects that I've mentioned with your body composition changing when you have an excess of estrogen. And one of the ways that you can help with estrogen going down, testosterone going up, intermittent fasting, yes, that works. But you also wanna be making sure that you're supplying your body with all the different micronutrients that are key to increase testosterone naturally in the body and lower excess estrogen within the body and with the estrogen you want to be doing some things to block estrogen production from going excessively high and so you're also doing things that are removing excess damaging metabolites within the body which so many people have unless they've done some specific things to get rid of excess estrogen and i'm going to quickly list off some supplements that can help with this one that i've been taking for years and years and years is zinc 
and you want to make sure that you're taking a very high bioavailable form of zinc otherwise you're not going to get the benefits from it and there's other scientific that research to show it gets rid of excess estrogen and increases testosterone females i'd recommend taking around 15 milligrams a day males around 30 milligrams a day and what i'm going to do is put links down below for the highest quality zinc supplements that come under the criteria that i've just mentioned there'll be uk us and worldwide suppliers and for all the other supplements i'm going to recommend in a minute but that is one of the best things that i have done personally for years to maximize testosterone production, which also increases dopamine production at the same time, which is neurotransmitter that gives you an abundance of energy and it optimizes your mood and your cognitive functions and improves your mental health as well, alongside a whole host of other amazing benefits. And make sure when you're taking that, that you do take it with food, otherwise it will induce nausea within you. That's something that you need to be very, very aware of because I've done that before. When I first became aware of this, it made me feel really sick and yeah, it's not a nice experience whatsoever. So I don't want that to happen to you. And with that, you can actually take it once to twice a day. And this is an energizing supplement, so do not take it later within the day because you're more than likely gonna find that you can't fall asleep or stay asleep. The second one that I'm gonna talk about, which I've talked about in this channel before, is I3C which is known as indenol 3 carbonyl And this will help increase testosterone, but it's also a natural estrogen blocker and it gets rid of excess estrogen. And the amount you need to get the full benefits is anywhere from 100 to 300 milligrams once to twice a day. And I would recommend with this supplement that you take it with food, you don't necessarily need to, but it maximizes the absorption of it. And there'll be links down below for this supplement as well. And the last one I'm gonna talk about is this one by Clean Machine which is called Cell Block 80 with DM33. And it has been proven through the scientific research that they have done on this supplement that it massively increases the production of free testosterone levels within the body. It blocks estrogen, DHT, and cortisol, which is just gonna help you massively with optimizing your weight loss benefits. And with this one, I would recommend taking one to two capsules a day, preferably with Food. And with that one, there will be links down below, but it's also going to be anywhere from a 20-30% discount that is just for my viewers only. So that can help you save a lot of money when buying this supplement or any other fitness nutritional supplements that this amazing company sells. Number five, which I never talked about this on the channel, but I will talk about it just very briefly because there's not much to go into on this one. If you can, get yourself a standing desk if you're someone that works at a computer most hours of the day like me. I have a standing desk and by standing rather than sitting, you're actually going to be burning more calories whilst you're standing and working throughout the day. And then there's other simple things as well. If you use elevators in your workplace or if you live in an apartment building, instead just walk up the stairs and just think of any other ways that you could just move around more in the day. You don't have to do additional exercise, but just trying to make sure that you're not sitting down for hours and hours and hours. Because if you're someone that's just sitting down for very, very long periods of time and hardly moving, you're not gonna burn as many calories. And I know not everyone has that option to do what I've just mentioned, but just try and be as mindful as you can. And every hour, say if you're sitting down for quite a while, just get up after every hour, if you possibly can, move around a little bit, do some breathing exercise, and just do some things for a very short while that could burn some excess calories. And one last thing that I didn't think to add, but I just thought about it right now, is using apple cider vinegar actually in the fasted state because the scientific research shows it gives you a whole host of amazing weight loss benefits. And when you're in the fasted state, it will actually lower insulin even further, which insulin is a fat storage hormone. And I talk about all the scientific reasons as to why apple cider vinegar provides you with an abundance of weight loss benefits and how it can speed up your weight loss with intermittent fasting in a video that I made recently that I will link up above. So if you haven't seen that, make sure that you do go and check that out and you watch it from start to finish. And last but not least, just be patient. Weight loss is not going to happen overnight. You didn't gain the weight over a short period of time. So you just have to be consistent with doing things that are actually effective over a long period of time to give you the weight loss benefits you're looking for. So if you have any questions on anything that I have mentioned, 
in this video today, leave them down below. If you'd like me to make any other types of videos on intermittent fasting, let me know down below and I'll make them for you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would like to hear about all the different ways that they can speed up weight loss whilst doing daily intermittent fasting. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on topics such as intermittent fasting, dry fasting, weight loss, calisthenics, and also videos just showing you what I'm getting up to in a day, what I'm eating, and just various other videos that can inspire you and motivate you to push yourself in the direction to do things that actually work over a period of time to give you the body that you dream of and the energy levels and fitness levels that I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and many other different amazing benefits as well. So make sure, as I mentioned earlier on in the start of this video, if you wanna be notified when new videos are uploaded, you click the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button. And I'm now around once to twice a week doing live stream Q and A sessions. So if you are interested in being notified when they're coming up, you have to be subscribed and have that bell clicked. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when those live streams are coming up. And I always make sure that I schedule them in advance so people know days and days in advance. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.